Hey, welcome back to Big Boy. Look, quick little uh, update here. Compass Games in the mail. Yes, this is a, a kind of a flashback. This is called a catalog. A catalog. A catalog is something that uh, companies used to mail to you in the physical mail, not an email or a tweet or a video but an actual, to goodness, physical 3D representation of a list of things that are for sale, might be for sale, might be available, things like that. Isn't that amazing? And look at this, this is a full color. Wonderful. Now mine got all kind of soggy and wet I spilled a glass of water on it last night, but it's even got signatures from the owner guys who, what are their names? Bill Thomas and Ken Dingley. And you're gonna have to deal with the wavy camera because I don't have my stand and I can't be bothered getting it. I miss this game. Now see, here's the first benefit of the, of the, of the, uh, hang on, wait a sec. We probably just start to go to, um, the, I missed this game. I, I never even got this. And then people told me that's fantastic. And I thought about it, but it's company level with a, a, a tactical war games in World War II focused on the leadership aspect. And look, it's got a nice little summary here of all the different bits and pieces of things that matter. Uh, there should be more of this on the website. Uh, I'd like to see this sort of uh, summary detail on the website. And maybe it isn't. Let's go to the website because part of me feels like this might be the website printed out. Compass Games. Compass got to type with one hand. Compass. You think it's Compass Games or is it Compass Games? Or is it just Compass.com? It's not going to be Compass.com. Compass Games, here we go. So let's see if we can find uh, military simulations. Uh, one, let's find one of the games down here. Enemy Action Ardennes, the one that has the ridiculously high uh, shipping cost because price went up. Oh, hey, sorry. Okay, here we go. Okay, so look, there's their website, right? And here's this. Why isn't all this on your website, guys? This would be cool. I, I, see, I, I actually went through this catalog in a fair amount of detail. And I looked at these summaries. You know, it's medium complexity. It's a day per turn, the scale, the regimental, the unit scale, number of players. You know, that sort of stuff. that's really cool. Why, you would just stick this stuff on the website, man. It'd be awesome if you did that. Hey, I'm just trying to help. Oh, look, there's another page stuck. Balance of power is a whiff kind of, is that a whiff title? I think it is. Or it has something to do with whiff anyway. Maybe it doesn't. No, it doesn't. That's not the whiff one. There's two whiff ones in here. This is a World War One to World War One title. Yeah, that's right. Here it is. This is the. I saw these two, and you know the boxes look great. The art looks really cool. And look at the all the counters there and everything. It's kind of sexy and all the rest of it. But you know whiff. Golly, you're just buying yourself a whole bunch of trouble there, right? So we we, we couldn't buy that. I'm really, really curious about this game. Um, and here's the cool thing about a, a catalog like this, right? Is that it's going to uh, it's going to prompt you to jump back on the website. But uh, but the, the problem for me is that the website just has so little information. In fact, let's go to pre-orders. This is November 2015. Let's see if we can find this title. Fall Blau, who it is. Okay. So it's basically the same commentary, a little bit more detail on the units. You can't really see that because of the the hurts on the screen. Yeah, no reviews and no rules, no details, no other details except for this. All right. So, yeah, I'm just not buying a Compass game anymore unless I, uh, unless I see some stuff and read some things. Although I do like the look of the artwork and the counters. It all feels very traditional, even though it's got... Uh, icons for the tanks. I go, you go. Kind of makes me feel a little bit meh. Uh, we should have a talk about the evolution of mechanics sometime. I don't know enough about it to actually talk knowledgeably. I'll have to find someone who knows more. On to Paris. I was really curious about this game too. Once again, because this is post-Napoleonic uh, uh, era. It's the Franco-Prussian War. I think that would be really interesting to get into. Pre-order price, 50 bucks. Eh? It's not too bad, but I don't know this guy, Milan. And I would be very uh, cautious there. I'm just not so sure. But once again, I'd like to know more about it. And I'm not going to Consum World to look through their freaking 
website and deal with all the snarkiness over there. Las Barracatas. That's the first title in the company level game that I was talking about earlier on. The one on the front, not the front cover. This guy, La Pate, the France. Uh, War in the Wind. I don't know what this is. What is this? What do we got here? Japanese Northern Army. Oh, this is uh, this is the uh, the fighting for the islands in up near Alaska. That was pretty horrid conditions they fought under. I've heard good things about this. Yeah. Paths to Hell. Wow, what have we got here? Another East Front game. Holy cow, four maps. Four counter sheets. Leader counters. 200 meter hexes. This tactical. Oh, this is another Warstorm series. See, that might be interesting. But then again, I don't have, you know, I really don't have any tactical stuff at all for the East Front other than uh, what comes with Combat Commander. That's it. Oh, I guess I do have Ghost Panzer now. I bought this Ghost Panzer thing. You know, I bought it second hand and look, I touched the. I picked, I picked the box up and look, just ripped because it's got this crappy Worthington Games box. Nice. Uh, Festung Europa, you know, my Granella game. Golly, I'd be curious, but it's a bit scared. Don't know this battle. Huh. I'm fascinated by this catalog. I love catalogs. I wish we had more of them. And I think this is a really cool idea. I just would like to see the catalog sync up to the website. Sometimes I feel, and I actually feel like this catalog has more useful information in it than their website does. Isn't that funny? Hey, maybe these guys are uh, totally old school. That's probably why they spend most of their time on, on uh, Concern World. Uh, breaking the change. Oh, that was disappointing. This was a great game. Paper Wars, Thunder, Thunderbirds at War. Excellent game. Like I need another copy of that. Like a hole in the head. And look, you can get a little auto form. How cute. You can write it out manually with a pen. You can use a pen. You could use one of these or one of these. And it give you credit card information and mail it in. And they'll send you games. You can phone your orders in. Well, hot diggity dog. I am, biz I am, I am just still in stock. Game's still available. Look at all these games in stock. This guy kind of, uh, let's see what the website says here. I'm curious to see if they're offering a discount through the catalog. Find a title. Where's the title? Baton is 43. How much is it here? 62. Wow. Okay, so let's work through the logic on that. You pay uh, an enormous amount of money to print a catalog. You got my mailing address because I bought something from you previously. You give me a almost $20 discount, $19 discount to buy it through the catalog that you manually have to process or take a telephone call from. Wow, there's some there's some torture logic going on there. Hey, uh, guys from Compass Games, I think this is a great idea. You know, it's a little retro something or other. Really nice quality of uh, catalog. But wow, help me understand what you're thinking. I'm curious why prices are cheaper here than on your website. Later.